Hi, I'm Andy Weinberg with Miller Welders. And I'm Jeff Day with New Day Motorsports. Today we're going to talk about the Synchrowave 210 TIG welder and why it's a perfect machine for your average Saturday night racer or any type of home hobbyist who may need a TIG welder that's also versatile on power and can even stick weld. Here at New Day Motorsports, we race super late models and modifieds. And while we don't manufacture our own race car chassis, we do manufacture a lot of the little small parts that make the cars complete. Here we have a shifter boot cover plate that we manufacture for our race cars here. To get the internal hole in the plate, we cut through it with a bandsaw from here and we will need to weld that back together. We also have a power steering reservoir that's been damaged in a wreck that we need to weld up. Let's talk a little bit more about the Synchrowave 210. The Synchrowave 210 has a maximum of 210 amps when plugged into 230 volt power and 125 amps when plugged into 115, which is what we're using today because of where the machine is located in our shop. It's not near a 230 volt outlet. For our 90 thousandths thick shifter boot cover plate, we'll be setting the machine around 100 amps. For the power steering reservoir, it's much thinner material and we'll be setting the machine lower. In both cases, we'll be fine tuning the output of the machine with the foot control. There's also a pulser built into the machine. So for that thinner material like the power steering reservoir, we can add the pulser, which reduces the total heat input to the piece and still gives us great looking welds. For these jobs, we're going to use a Hobart Maxwell TIG 4943 filler rod. 330 seconds for the cover plate, 1 16th for the power steering tank. We're using the 4943 filler because it's higher in strength than your standard 4043 fillers. The 4943 will weld all of our aluminum projects here at the shop. Let's get started on the cover plate. Because the Synchrowave 210 has an inverter engine, we can standardize on one type of tungsten. We're using a serrated tungsten 332 size sharpened to a point. Today we use the Synchrowave 210 to weld the power steering reservoir and the shifter boot cover plate. The Synchrowave 210 is a great welder to have around the shop or home garage because it will run on 115 volts or 230 volts. It's the inverter engine in the Synchrowave 210 that makes that possible. The inverter makes it more portable, more power efficient, and gives you better arc performance. For more information on the Synchrowave 210, go to MillerWelds.com. 